Yeah, it's a little creaky. So good. People in here drinking 40 Gs on wine and their table is <laughs> like fucking hanging together by a couple of nails. <laughs> yeah. Let it spark, get lost in the art, dreaming of better living, sinning where there's a start. There is almost one thing that every chef in New York agrees on. Best pizza is found at Lucali. Lucali is one of the most iconic restaurants in New York. It's been here 17 years, and it's a BYOB. And what BYOB is? <laughs> Why has Lucali become this thing? It's humble, it's relaxed, and yet people like flock here, celebrate here. What happened? I don't know. Maybe the pizza is that good. I'm starting yeah. to believe in it, yeah. you know? After 17 years, you Yeah, I'm, I'm finally starting to believe that the pizza might be that good. Why did you choose to do BYOB? Growing up in Brooklyn, you know, we went to these pizzerias and it was like, we didn't drink wine with pizza. People, you know, we'd go in there, get a Pepsi, a Coke, or the, the fountain soda. You know, me, all my friends, make my, my friends buzz in here. Oh, Anthony Rizzo, New York Yankees. Oh, Rizzo. And it's gone! A home run for Anthony Rizzo! Hello, Mr. Rizzo. How are you doing? I'm sitting here with Top Jaw, and they want to know one of your favorite pizza spots in New York. Lucali. <laughs> How's everything going? Good. We're in front of Lucali's. The back is set up. Your table is set up. Nice. Rizzo's, where, where's the best burger? Red Oak is really good. Yeah? The one restaurant in New York that you send someone to, what would it be? Fort Charles. Fort Charles, yeah. Yes. I'll see you later, bro. Thanks, bro. All right. So Lucali is small. It's a 10 table restaurant. There's no reservations. So you have to just be lucky and get a table or queue up, put your name forward, and they'll give you an allocated time. So what's, what's with the wine bottle? We have a really low hydration. The dough is really tough to stretch by hand. We started off with this, and then we let it sit, let the dough relax, and then it becomes easier to stretch. Where did you grow up? Right here in this neighborhood. Really? Yeah, I used to come here as a kid. My parents came to this place as kids. This was Louis' candy store. Louis had passed away. Uh, Anthony and Rosemary, you know, ran the store a few years, a few more years after he passed. And like every time I would drive by, you know, the place was like open sporadically. I was like, bro, listen, you know, if things don't work out, I would, you know, I'd be interested in the space. And she was like, oh, okay. An hour later, I get a phone call from her son, Anthony. He was like, you know, my mom told me you might be interested in taking over the store, you know, and we would, you know, love for you to take it over. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll be right there. And the next thing I know, I'm signing a lease, you know, five thousand dollars to my name. It's this one, and it's Miami. Yes. It okay, was the so love affair genesis. The family getting together at the, you know, me, my brothers, my aunts, my uncles, you know, Sunday dinner, my grandmother cooked every single night. Back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, we had some amazing uh, restaurants in this area. A lot of the old school sauce joints, you know. Rich is making a really big comeback right now. You know, I'm like, yo, it's chicken parmesan, what's the big deal? And, and someone said, you know, what's ordinary to you isn't to others. Yeah. And it, you know, and then I was like, yeah, I guess. The Italians get mad if we call it margarita. Why do they get mad when you call it margarita? Because it's not strictly a margarita. No, it's not. That's a totally different pizza. You know, there are all these rules and regulations. You know, it has to be made a specific way. So are you using American bread, bread flour? Or do you yes. use... From what I was told, 90% of their flour is our wheat. That, you know, we send it over there, they mill it, and sell it back to us. They double love zero. their double zero flour. Yep. And they love to hate on American bread flour. I could be wrong. No, I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I could be wrong. I usually am. All right, we're going in. I'm gonna stop. Mm. You do your thing. Gotta stand up straight. Crystal, remind me to suck my stomach in when I'm filling. Mark's made a pizza, but he's giving it away. Because it's the first pizza that comes out of the oven is never that great. <laughs> no, we do it for uh, the lady next door that works in the deli. Uh, because I went there the other day and she says you never bring me pizza. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she got a pizza. How often do you eat your own pizza? Almost every day. Let me get your dish. Okay, here we go. Plain pie. I mean, it's gorgeous stuff. And you get a very crisp base, but it's super thin. It's almost like Neapolitan thin, but it has a lot of like structure to it. Sometimes I'll go up to the customer's table and steal a slice. <laughs> <laughs> You stretch that dough out thinner than like mm -hmm. knickers, you know? Then yeah, what? <laughs> it's thin, it's crispy, and it's moorish. And big slices, but you just chop it down because it's a really light dough. What's next, bro? I think we got meatballs, and I love meatballs. And I love New York meatballs. 
What goes in your meatballs? Yeah, brisket, short rib, and spicy Whoa. sausage. The serious meatballs there. I'll never say I have the best pizza, but we may have one of the best meatballs. Stick the knife in a little twist. They're very soft. Mm. Oh, man. When you don't like something, do you still react like that? No. Beautiful. That sesame crumb. Ooh. What pasta? There's uh, three cheese fusilli. Pecorino, parmesan, and lagasha cavallo. It's got a little, like smoky paprika in it and, and chili. And... Uh huh. They like a pasta sauce. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you getting the heat? Yeah, I love it. And these are always on the menu. You ask too many questions. <laughs> Less questions, more eating. <laughs> Thank you so much. Meatballs, meatballs. Uh, Two meatballs. Why, you don't eat meat? Nah, trust me. <laughs> Two meatballs.